I'm Amy Cherry. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow ya. The Flagler County Sheriff's Office's Fugitive Friday bingo yields yet another arrest. John Arking reports. About an hour after Flagler County Sheriff Rick Staley posted his weekly Fugitive Friday bingo video on Facebook Friday morning, a wanted sex offender was in custody. The video featured 39-year-old Warren Putt Jr., who was wanted on a molestation charge involving a 5- to 7-year-old child. A tip following the video was made to the Alachua County Sheriff's Office, who apprehended Putt. The alleged victim is now 14 and was interviewed by the child protection team in February 2017. She said Putt was her mother's boyfriend at the time and alleges she was forced to touch him and watch pornography. She said he also occasionally would get into the shower with her and further alleged he orally raped her. Putt is charged with the lewd and lascivious molestation of a child younger than 12 that's punishable by a minimum of 25 years in prison. Putt remains in Alachua County awaiting extradition. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm John Arking. This portion of WNZF Local News, a service of the Daytona Beach International Airport. Fly to the Big Apple in a New York Minute on JetBlue from the Daytona Beach International Airport. There's a lot of guests staying at the Green Roof Inn, Rich Petschke explains. According to the Flagler County Sheriff's Office, there are 243 inmates at the county jail, which means it's running at about 60% capacity. Most of those behind bars are men, and an inmate's average stay is around 85 days. Two years ago, the jail was renovated, which more than doubled its capacity. In a statement, Sheriff Rick Staley says the number his department will never know is how many crimes have been prevented by deputies getting offenders off the streets. For the WNCF Newsroom, I'm Rich Pesci. We have taken some students that maybe nobody thought would be able to graduate. And got them diplomas. Flagler County Schools Superintendent Jim Taker tells WNZF's Free For All Friday it's all thanks to their unique bunker program that targets students who may not have otherwise graduated. At the end of the year after spring break, we took them, and if the, if our other um, tools did not work, we put them in a bunker, which was one room, uh, took away their cell phones, had some very motivational teachers in there, And we had teachers in every subject area working with them to complete their schoolwork so they could get to graduation. Tager says students are facing increasing challenges with 70% receiving free or reduced school lunch, while others are working after school cutting into study time. But he says creating a family atmosphere and believing in students led to their success. Special needs residents in Flagler County are getting some much-needed special attention. Flagler County Emergency Management has launched a new online application so residents can register to ensure they get the services they need in the event of an emergency. Residents who require medical attention or transportation in case of an evacuation are urged to register. Forms are available online at flaglercounty.org slash special underscore needs. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Amy Cherry.